Now, if you're not up on this story, the baby is currently on his up and personal tour, and Saturday he had a concert in Tampa. Now, while walking into the club on his way to the stage, according to the baby, he said there was a young lady that, well, he didn't even know what the gender of the person was. He said that it was a person that had a flash, and they put the phone in front of him and hit him in his face. So that's why he reacted by slapping them. Now, later on, he found out that this person was a woman, but he wasn't as apologetic as he's trying to make it sound now. After the incident happened, he was telling people to send him the video of him slapping this person. And then when he realized that he was getting backlash from slapping this young lady, that's when he came later on and tried to issue an apology by saying, oh, I apologize, but you was the one that had the flash in my face. You was the one that hit me with a phone. So we should be apologizing to each other. This is his side of the story, he's saying. And he also goes on to say, oh, I will fly you out so I can personally apologize. Come to one of my concerts and I promise we can settle this in person. I'm excited that this is just not one of them fangirls because I know the baby was hoping that this was a fangirl that was just going to his offer fly out sit with him chill for a day or whatever the case may be and move on with life but this lady right here miss law that's her name miss law she said no no bro we about to get a check for real okay now miss law came forward and a lot of what the baby said in that footage i could see you because you got the flash this close to me which is okay it's no problem how many people know how to zoom in just zoom in and stay up popping me in my motherfucking eye with the phone. So I do apologize, it was a female on the other end. Male or female, I would have responded the same exact way. You can zoom in close enough to see a pimple on my face, you ain't do that, and I already can't see you. Then you, mm, come on, baby, why you, why you do that? Which I think that his lawyer should have told him not to say anything, because a lot of what he's saying is gonna come and bite him in his behind if somebody doesn't come forward with the full footage. Because one, he said he didn't even know the gender of the person, that's one. And two, he said he didn't even see who it was. Now, let me get into her story because Ms. Lord did come forward on TMZ and she told her side to the story. Now, first she tells her injuries. Here's what she had to say. My head was hurting really, really bad and like the, right, the top of my right cheekbone, it was like hurting, like it was tender. So I did go to the hospital um, and I was diagnosed with a contusion. Yesterday he uploaded something on his page in a, a clothing store, making a joke about it. So I don't feel like, you know, he was sincere with the apology. I was embarrassed. We went upstairs on the stairway to take a picture and I see security um, saying move, move. And I was standing next to a young lady and all of a sudden, I turn around and I say to my boyfriend, I said, there go the baby, he's coming through. Sis, before you get your check, get rid of your boyfriend. How the hell your boyfriend was dead and he ain't have no reaction? He ain't say nothing? He ain't feel no type of way? You feel me? Like, when she got knocked out, I didn't see nobody jump over her head. See, my boyfriend would have jumped over my head, okay? That would have ended way differently. Because what I don't understand is how the baby has security in front of him, but he didn't have security in back of him on side of him see what the club should have had was security their security in front of him but his personal security should be on the side of him because he knows how the baby is this is not the first time the baby has got into it with a fan in the audience so if you know how your client is why is it that you're in front of your client and not on the side or behind your client because that was his job to push that girl's camera out the way not to knock her out but to push her out the way because there's people that do this all the time but what i'm mad about is that you said you had a boyfriend and he was with you and he saw you got knocked out and he have no type of reaction says get rid of your boyfriend before you get that check because ain't no man i'm sleeping with ain't got no reaction after i get knocked out but moving on to what miss law had to say she said that the girl next to her while she was talking to her boyfriend she said that the girl next to her pulled out her phone with the flash and she's insinuating that the girl next to her was the one that had the phone in his face now unless he has footage to prove anything differently this might not turn out too good for the baby and that's why he's offering ten thousand dollars for anybody that has footage that was close up on the situation because now he possibly could have put his hands on the wrong person not to say that this was okay but if this girl's story is true you could be paying up way more than what you thought because this girl is saying that she didn't even have the phone she's saying that the girl next to her had a phone with the flash until we see closer footage and see what the girl had and if she had the phone i don't know this could be a bad situation for the baby and the baby need to get a publicist somebody that could teach him how to act in public and have some courtesy you 
you are not in the hood. You have to know that once you're provoked, everybody is gonna constantly keep provoking you, provoking you because they wanna check. The baby ain't gonna be successful for that long because one, he's gonna be paying out a whole lot of money and two, ain't nobody gonna keep going for this. And we gotta stop using the same excuse. Oh, he's a new artist. Meg Thee Stallion is also a new artist that came in the game and ain't nobody provoking her. I don't see her out here fighting no girls. Obviously people know that he's easily affected by something so small that he could go crazy in 2.2 seconds. And that has to get some type of control. If not for him, at least for his daughter. Because his daughter is riding on this success. You get what I'm saying? Like, you have children. You have children on the way that are obviously depending on these checks. You don't have time to be giving money out to people that's not your children. You don't fall to everybody. Leave comments down below. Y'all let me know what y'all think on this whole situation. Until next time, peace.